Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I present to you eight brand new fragrance oils from Candle Science. I'm gonna give you my first impressions. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, my name is Kerry. I'm the owner and maker of Couture Candle Company. If you're new here, thank you so much. And if you're not, hi Barb. <laughs> this package that came in from Candle Science, um, this was such a wonderful surprise. I think these are the new year-round fragrances. So I've been seeing a lot of um, them posting on socials and, and then I got an email this weekend, like a behind the scenes look. So I didn't peek because this had just come in and I knew I was gonna film this week. So thank you to Candle Science for sending these to me. I super appreciate it. I know I'm I'm like a tiny little speck in the big world of candle and soap making, just making in general. And I appreciate you seeing me and sending me these. I, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get some strips and let's get to smelling. Again, I just want to reiterate, if you haven't seen my other first impression videos, you need the blotter strips, like a hundred percent. That out of the bottle is not going to be true. You're going to miss all of the nuances of the fragrance. So I highly recommend getting these. I just get these from Candle Signs because it's easy, I just add it to my order. I just wanna say at the top, it's always a great idea to get these one ounce testers, especially at the sale. You can just get a bunch of them at a super discount, I think it's 25%. Um, yeah, and you can smell some things that maybe you didn't consider. All right, let's start with Pear and Thyme, Citronella. Oh, I smell the thyme, like the first thing when I took the cap off. That is quite nice. All right, the top notes are pear, lemon, and black pepper. And then the middle, citronella, thyme, sage, red currant. The base is dark musk and cedar. Okay. Mm -hmm. The citronella is like, um, I don't hate it, but like the thyme really pulls this together for me because it's super herbaceous and it's like, oh yeah, this is what I would want to burn if I was outside and not wanting um, uh, bugs and, and stuff like that. Yeah, the lemon for sure. Yeah, gosh, yeah. So lemon and thyme are classic pairings together. It's so interesting with the citronella because it's like, but yeah, I like that. I don't get any of the musk or the cedar yeah, I think the, the lemon, the citronella are the first and foremost. And then there's like a little like, I don't want to say it, it's uh, it's like a blanket uh, of thyme. <laughs> yeah, the, I like that one. The pear is super light, but pear itself, the flavor, it, it's very light. Like pear doesn't have a strong scent. So, okay, it's all right. Next, we're going to take a smell of ginger and saffron citronella. I'm like, I'm most enthused about this one. Oh, it's super gingery. I just took the cap off and like, that is like number one, what I'm smelling. These are beautiful creatives also, like if you're really just trying to. All right, top notes of ginger and saffron. The middle is citronella, nutmeg, and cardamom. Okay, and the base is juniper, patchouli, and dark musk. I have to say, I have a hard time smelling juniper when it is present. Um, let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, this smells so good. This smells like, this smells like when I make um, Thai chicken. I'm not getting the patchouli or the dark musk. I don't know if that's, uh, citronella is like <clears throat> front. It's like right between the eyes. But like the ginger is so nice. Got ginger and saffron are just, again, like classic, like lemon and thyme. Okay, the next fragrance is lemongrass and verbena citronella. I don't think I did a very good job of doing that. Lemongrass and verbena citronella. I love lemon, I love verbena, I love lemongrass. Let's see, okay. Super, super uh, citrusy at the front. I smell orange, okay. Ooh, okay, top notes are lime, orange, and verbena. Middle notes are citronella, lemongrass, and lavender. I definitely am getting the lavender. That's really beautiful. And the base is sugar, black pepper, and balsam. Oh, okay. Of the three citronelles, this for sure is my fave. 
gosh, that's really nice. You know, because citronella, while it's while it's in the front, it's in the passenger side. It's not in the driver's side. So it's not like overpowering. The the lime, the orange, and the verbena are like are having a little um, dance, and that's what I smell first and foremost. And then I get the citronella and the lavender. <sighs> yeah, I it's definitely sweet. I don't I don't get the pepperiness, but um yeah, and I guess maybe that that is what I'm smelling is that sort of that earthy fresh balsam. Very nice. Ooh, okay. That's my favorite. Paloma. Oh, Paloma. It's such a beautiful drink. It's such a beautiful name. Wow, these these creatives are so beautiful on the website. Yeah, so you see a picture of a Paloma drink, you want to drink it. It looks gorgeous. So gorgeous. Okay. What are we looking at here? Grapefruit, bergamot, lemon is the top. Middle is mint, thyme, and lavender. And the base is green leaves and cedar. Like, for sure, that sounds like the drink. <laughs> <sighs> this is fantastic. Oh, yeah. So, grapefruit, for sure, front and center. I think I get the mint next. Um, definitely the bergamot and lemon. They're both very citrusy. Yeah. Oh yeah, so see, I wanna drink it. It smells amazing and it looks amazing. Oh, this is wonderful. This is great for spring, summer, I would definitely say. I mean, there's always a place for these fresh scents. Um, people want that freshness year round. God, that's really, really lovely. Oh, I think you could even blend that with a little more lavender and that would be super nice, like a florally citrus bouquet. Oh, wow. That's, they nailed that. Let's get into lemon blueberry crumble. When Pete sees this, he's gonna be like, what? And then he's gonna ask, he's gonna ask me to make it. <laughs> when I say make it, I mean the dessert, not a candle. His, his big old sweet tooth. All right, let's see. Oh, that is super sweet. Very cakey, very, very lemony. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Here, the top note is lemon. The middle notes are blueberry, milk, and butter. Yes, okay, it's very buttery. Oh my gosh, and then the base is vanilla. Yeah, I, I think first and foremost, it's like lemon butter cake. <laughs> I'm not getting a ton of the blueberry, I think, Oh, yeah, for sure. This would, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely like a gourmand type of scent. I'm getting the the lemon and the butter and the vanilla. Like it's it smells really cakey and sweet. Like it smells really good. It's very, very sweet. I would definitely want to blend that with something. Maybe more blueberry because I'm not, I'm not quite getting the blueberry. I forgot to mention, all of these fragrances are part of their clean sense line. So double bonus right there. All right, let's get into the next one. So we only have two left. So this is citrus and sunshine. So the top note here is mandarin lemon. The middle notes are pineapple and grass. And the base is vanilla and musk. Let's give it a whirl. For me, this is definitely like pineapple forward, and then I'm getting the mandarin and the lemon. And it's surely sweet with the vanilla. It is definitely sunshine in a bottle, that's for sure. This last one is called lemongrass and lime. Ooh, I did that one good this time. <laughs> Yo, this is my heart. I saved it for last just because I love lime and I love lemongrass, so let's Give it a swirl. So the top notes are lemongrass and lime. Oh yeah, I can already smell it. The middle is black currant, sage, and thyme. And then the base is patchouli and light musk. And I can smell the patchouli. I can smell the light musk. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's really nice. Oh yeah, that's so lovely. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is so wonderful. I don't make this product, but if you make room sprays, this would be a gorgeous scent for room sprays. Um, oh, there's there's like a, a sweetness that's like really punchy through, punching through, punchy, <laughs> punchy through. I think it's the musk. Gosh, it, what a wonderful 
What a wonderful blend this is. Yeah, it's super limey, very timey lemongrass. I get a hint of the black currant, but like the patchouli and the light musk. Oh my gosh, this is really lovely. I'm oh my gosh, I, I have one more. Oops, my bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, butterscotch and bourbon, yo. How did I forget that one? Hold please, hold please. <laughs> butterscotch right out the bottle. Oh, it's so buttery and it's, I don't hate it. All right, top notes are peppercorn and cardamom, makes sense. Middle is butterscotch and brown sugar. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, that's what that is. Those are brown sugar cubes. Oh, cute. I, you know, don't at me. Sometimes I just don't know the obvious, you know? Base is bourbon oak patchouli. Ooh! <laughs> that is very sweet. It's super butterscotch forward, but the bourbon is right there. It's like a strong sidecar. And then of course the the patchouli for sure. And like oak, it's almost like like bourbon and oak barrels. You know what I mean? I totally, I'm totally, I'm there. It's very sweet. What's interesting is there, I, I don't know if it's the cardamom, but there is like a brightness or my brain is broken from smelling all of these bright citrus vibrant scents. Cause, oh my gosh, yes. This is such a challenge. Like, what do I do with that? Cause the butterscotch is strong. Like, do I add more bourbon? Yeah, wow, that is so unique. I think this could also be a gourmand type of fragrance and if that's your line i don't sleep on this one this is so incredible i don't know how they do it wow okay well thank you <laughs> yeah th these are my favorites i think lemongrass and lime paloma lemongrass citronella verbena did i say it right lemongrass verbena citronella and the dark horse and this whole bit for me is butterscotch and bourbon. Like what? That's, it's, it's just incredible. Like everything is just incredible. Literally they got Paloma in a drink. If you do a line of drink inspired candles, it's here. I don't even know if you would need to blend this to be honest, <laughs> it's incredible, but here we are. All right, that's gonna do it for me. These are my first impressions of the eight brand new year round fragrance oils from Candle Science that are part of the Clean Sense line. So hopefully you enjoyed this video for the five people that tune in. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm doing my best to grow my channel and also my business, so it's a lot. Um, I know I haven't been here for a few weeks, but thank you for coming back. Thank you again, Candle Science. I super appreciate you sending me um, the new fragrance oils, it's very generous and, and I super appreciate it. So let me know what you think, like which, which fragrance are you going to pick up or which fragrances are exciting to you? I'd love to know. And are you going to make candles? Or are you going to make something else? Until the next time, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And if you like, subscribe, or you share my video, that really helps me out um, and to grow and just get new, get new folks here as part of the Couture Candle Fam. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. People here in Los Angeles. I just drooled. I'm so sorry. Just me? Okay. <laughs> next one we're going to, we're going to watch. <laughs> No, I'm not watching. I'm at Shamelling.